Rest in peace to you. Um, my name is Amudi Moesima Kabanyani. Uh, I would like to appreciate God for the grace of God upon Apostle David Grace and Pastor Esther Grace and Kingdom Embassy at large. Um, I'm going to uh, share the goodness of the Lord upon my life on divine intervention. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank God because uh, uh, the Lord has blessed my family with uh, marital breakthroughs uh, following the declare, prophetic declarations from the man of God during services uh, when he asked us to receive on behalf of ourselves and on behalf of our families. Uh, I received on, on my behalf and on behalf of my family. Uh, the Lord has broken a long spell of lack of marriages in my family and my two brothers uh, recently got married. Uh, secondly, I would love to thank God for divine intervention and divine healing uh, upon the life of my brother. Uh, he was carried here to church in 2012. Uh, he was not able to do anything by himself. Uh, that day, the man of God picked him and uh, as he was praying for him, he prophesied him that he sees him in the bush and he sees a suicidal spirit of which my brother confirmed that day. Um, the man of God prayed and told him it is well. Um, with the look of the carnal eye, we, we thought maybe nothing was well with him, but uh, the same year, my brother got healed and he got restored. Um, now the same man is one of the two guys uh, who got married. Thirdly, I would like to thank God for divine intervention and protection upon my life because uh, sometimes in 2013, when I went to do my diploma in Francistown, I got carried away to the world and I back from church. Um, things were not going right. Uh, things were not going well with me. Uh, after the enemy stole me from the presence of God, he now wanted to destroy my life. Uh, permanently. I got attacked uh, when I was at the bus. I got stabbed with a knife three times. But uh, even though I was unconscious, the Lord protected me. The knife steps did not take my life. Um, still on that point, I once got attacked again. Um, there were a mob group of guys who attacked me and they were throwing and they were throwing bottles all over, but none of the bottles have injured me. Even though uh, the clothes that I was wearing, they were damaged and terminated. <clears throat> I also want to thank God for, uh, he delivered me from smoking marijuana, smoking cigarette, and drinking alcohol. I was always praying to God because things were not nice. Uh, it was hard living without God, but I always pray to him that God restore me, restore me, restore my soul. And today I'm standing here and saying, God has restored me. And now the things that I couldn't do without uh, smoking, now I can do them without taking any smoking. Because back, back then I couldn't sleep without taking puffs of smoking. I couldn't eat without taking puffs of smoking. But today I am restored. It can only be God and divine intervention. Um, I also want to thank God again for uh, academic excellence and progress. Uh, mm, I went to uh, do my diploma in law in Baisaro in 2013 and I completed in 2015. Then 2019, I went uh, for progression in Haborone Baisaro. We are prog progressing to a Bachelor of Arts in Law and public administration. Uh, during the first semester uh, of my degree, things were not right. I was not doing well. And uh, I failed two modules because uh, I couldn't concentrate uh, as my, my mind was filled with drugs. So I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't study, and I failed. From there, I prayed to God uh, in the following semester, and I told him, God, I cannot do this thing without you. I realize that I'm a sinner, but I am praying that, Lord, I need your intervention in my life, in my academic 
uh, studies. Eventually, after that prayer, because I surrendered to God, the following semester, I improved, my results improved. The, after that semester, from the third semester, I started getting first classes and second classes, and there was nothing less than that. And it only took God for me to get back to concentration and studying and passing my uh, exams. So now I finished last year pending those two modules of the first semester of which uh, I'm believing God that the next semester will be doing because they were not offered in the previous semester. I also want to thank God lastly for divine restoration uh, and delivering me from the spirit of religion. Uh, after I was carried away from church, from the presence of God, it was always hard for me to get restored back to church uh, because of uh, the spirit of religion. I was always uh, looking on what will, what will people say when they see me back in church. Uh, and I was always judging myself for after the things that I have done, I am not the, the kind of guy who will get back to church. But it took God through the teachings uh, that I received of recent, they restored me back to church. Men of God mentioned uh, words during the Bible study that God has never left. And those words are the ones that certified my freedom. Thank you.